From Angelina Jolie to Salma Hayek, we're about to embark on a journey of jaw-dropping transformations. Learn how to craft face models, swap multiple faces simultaneously, upscale your face-swapped images, and much more. The possibilities are endless. Are you ready for the ultimate reactor experience? Smash that like button, hit subscribe, and let's dive into the reactor extension crash course together. Are you ready? Let the face swapping adventure begin. Before we embark on the thrilling journey of creating incredible face swaps, it's essential to guarantee the correct installation and setup of the reactor extension. Let's start by visiting the reactor GitHub page, where you can find all the installation details. Because we're using the automatic 1111 web UI, we'll follow the steps provided below. To start, download the Community Visual Studio 2022 for Windows. Click on the link mentioned in the installation details. Once on the page, you'll find a free download button. Proceed by clicking on it. Now go to your downloads folder and be sure to initiate the download of Visual Studio 2022 by double clicking on it. Firstly, it will install the visual installer allowing us to choose the workloads we want to download. Proceed with the installation as you would with any other program until the visual installer is completed. Once that's completed, a new screen will appear, allowing you to choose your workloads. Following the installation guide's recommendation, opt for the desktop development with C++ workload and proceed with the installation. Be patient as this may take some time for a proper installation. Once everything is complete, close the window and return to the Reactor GitHub page, where we'll be prepared for our next step. Moving on, our next task involves installing the Reactor extension, as outlined in step two of the installation guide. Be sure to copy the GitHub URL and navigate to the Extensions tab within the Stable Diffusion Web UI. Click on the Install from URL sub-tab paste the GitHub URL, and proceed by clicking Install. Once the installation is complete, go to the Installed tab and click on Apply and Restart UI to trigger a user interface restart, ensuring the seamless integration of the Reactor extension. After a successful installation, take note of the Reactor expansion panel now present when you scroll down in the user interface. If you happen to encounter any errors during the Reactor extension installation, we suggest referring to the official Reactor GitHub page. It includes a detailed troubleshooting section that provides explanations for common errors and their solutions. In the upcoming chapter, we'll begin by crafting a straightforward face swap using this newly installed extension. See you in the next one. Now that the Reactor extension is correctly installed, let's explore a practical example of face swapping with the Reactor extension. Go to the Text to Image tab within Stable Diffusion Open the Reactor Expansion panel and drag a face portrait onto the canvas. The following step involves checking the checkbox to Enable Reactor. Afterward, you'll need to select a checkpoint. We recommend the Realistic Vision checkpoint for its exceptional performance in creating realistic portraits. Now generate both a positive and negative prompt and click on the Generate button to witness the impressive face swapped result. Please note that your first face swap with the reactor extension might take longer as it unpacks necessary models from a zip file. However, subsequent swaps will be faster. The end product is a striking face resembling Angelina Jolie, created from the input prompt you provided. Let's explore a few more examples using the same prompt. If you're interested in using this prompt, be sure to check our website for a written guide accompanying this crash course. You can find the links in the description. Next, we'll delve into using the upscale feature within the Reactor extension to achieve high quality images. Welcome to this section of our Reactor Face Swap Crash Course. In this segment, we'll delve into enhancing your face swapped images with the Reactor extension's upscale feature. Let's jump right in. Start by navigating to the Upscale sub tab within the Reactor extension. Here you'll find various settings you can adjust with the first being the post-processing order. This allows you to determine whether you want to face swap first and then upscale or vice versa. For optimal results, opt to swap faces first and then upscale by selecting the checkbox. Now select your preferred upscaling method. I personally recommend using RESARGIN 4X Plus for improving realistic images, so let's go with that one. Now let's adjust the final setting, 
which is the scale by setting. This slider allows us to choose the factor by which our image will be scaled. For this example, let's slide it to two, meaning our image will be upscaled by a factor of two, enhancing its details. To compare the difference between an upscaled image and one that is not, we'll use the example previously generated without upscaling. Click the green recycle icon to reuse the previously generated seed number. Ensure you have a prompt, negative prompt, and a correct checkpoint set up. Finally, click the generate button to upscale and enhance your previously generated image. Observe the incredible details in the image. It's truly amazing. Once you've completed the upscaling process, you can find the generated images in the default output locations. Simply click the yellow folder icon below the generated images to open the folder location where the upscaled image is stored. Now that you've learned how to enhance the image after the face swap, in the upcoming chapter, we'll explore how to save specific face models within the Reactor extension. For instance, we could store Angelina Jolie's face within Reactor for future use cases. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one. When swapping a specific face, it can be inconvenient to search for the correct face portrait each time you want to drop it onto the Reactor canvas for a face swap. In response to this challenge, the Reactor extension introduces a new capability. This feature allows you to save face models of faces you frequently use for face swapping. Let's delve into how this functionality works. So let's start building and using our first face model. To start this process, navigate to the Tools sub-tab within the Reactor extension. Here, you can place a facial portrait onto the canvas, assign it a name, and click Build and Save. This action will generate a safe tensors file containing the face model of your uploaded facial portrait. In this example, we're crafting a face model featuring Angelina Jolie. Now that you've crafted your face model, let's explore how to apply it in future face swaps. Navigate back to the main sub-tab and select Face Model. On the right side, you'll find the option to choose your created face model from the drop-down menu. In our demonstration, you can observe the inclusion of the Angelina face model in the list. If your face model isn't visible, click the blue refresh icon next to the drop-down menu to update the newly added face models. This action ensures that your face model becomes visible and can be selected. Once you've chosen the appropriate face model, select a checkpoint, compose a prompt, and witness the remarkable results. Now that we've got the hang of making face models for future face swaps, let's make another one using the same steps. This time, we're creating a face model of the awesome Salma Hayek. Go back to the Tools section, switch Angelina Jolie's face with a picture of Salma, give it a name, and hit Build and Save. Once the face model is prepared, return to the main tab and click the blue refresh icon to confirm Salma's face model is listed. If it appears as one of the drop-down options, ensure to select it. Now you're all set to click generate and witness the captivating beauty of Salma Hayek in a silk dress. Let's take a moment to admire this. It's just amazing. They're absolutely perfect. The face models we've just made are a quick and easy way to create consistent character face swaps effortlessly. These carefully crafted face models will be essential in an upcoming chapter where we'll learn how to swap faces in existing images, whether they're from stable diffusion or the internet. To showcase face swapping on an existing image, we naturally need a picture for the face swap. Therefore, we've generated the following image. This specific image, considered as our target image, was created using the text to image feature in stable diffusion. Feel free to pick a group photo from the internet that resembles the one we created or generate one yourself using Stable Diffusion. Once you have an image, let's proceed to the next step by heading over to the Image to Image tab and dropping your group photo onto the canvas. Before delving into the Reactor extension to discuss various face swap scenarios, let's adjust the denoising strength to zero. This ensures that, in addition to executing a face swap, we don't unintentionally modify the image. Now let's proceed to open the Reactor extension. Upon opening the Reactor extension, it is automatically enabled, indicated by the checked checkbox. Now let's start this face swapping journey of by uploading our source image. Instead of directly placing our chosen face portrait onto the source image canvas, we can utilize the face models we created in the previous section. Click on Face Model and choose your preferred face model. In this instance, we'll opt for the Angelina Jolie face model we crafted earlier. 
When selecting a face model, bear in mind that it essentially serves as your source image. However, it is confined to a single face, and that face will consistently have a face number of zero, as shown here. Now let's transfer Angelina Jolie's source face onto our target image, the one we previously placed on the image to image canvas. This image features a group photo with three faces. To easily comprehend how to replace Angelina Jolie with a specific face, let's take a closer look at the face numbers on our target image. Reactor assigns face numbers in a left to right sequence, starting with face number zero. Therefore, Reactor will designate the following face numbers to our target image, zero, one, and two. Now that we know the face numbers assigned to our target image, let's move on to the target image section. Here we can enter the specific face number where we intend to swap in Angelina Jolie's face. For instance, if we want to replace the middle face of our target image, which corresponds to face number one, we would input number one for the swap. Afterward, click Generate to observe the swapped result. Swapping a face onto an existing image is that simple. Just ensure you use the face numbers correctly. But there's more to it. What if you want to replace Angelina Jolie's face on multiple faces within the image? Well, you can achieve this by entering multiple face numbers in the target image section. Remember to include commas between the numbers without any spaces. For instance, if you want Angelina's face on both the left and right faces but not the middle, you would input something like 0, 2. Alternatively, you could input 2, 0 since the order doesn't matter when working with a single source face. Once again, click Generate and observe the result. And there you have it. Observe how both the left and right faces now mirror the likeness of Angelina Jolie. Now to wrap up this section, let's alter the picture we just created with Angelina Jolie on both sides. We'd like a sandwich with Salma Hayek in the middle of these two faces. To do this, begin by transferring the image back to the image to image canvas by clicking on the canvas icon below the generated images. Now, Let's switch our face model to Salma and designate the target face number as 1, representing the middle face. Once again, click Generate and observe the result. And there you go. See how we've achieved not one, not two, but three face swaps in a single image. Now that you understand the concept of face numbers and how to use them for accurate face swapping, feel free to experiment with face swapping on your own. In the next section, we'll explore how to swap multiple different faces simultaneously. See you in the next section. Becoming proficient in swapping multiple faces simultaneously is a valuable skill. In this section, we will explore just that. To begin, we'll remain in the image to image tab within stable diffusion. For the purpose of this example, let's replace our original target image with a new group photo featuring three beautiful brunettes. Okay, now that we've updated our target image, it's important to note that the reactor extension will assign face numbers to each face. Similar to the previous example, the face numbers will progress from left to right, starting at zero. Therefore, we have faces labeled as zero, one, and two, respectively. Now that we are aware of the face numbers of the target image, let's scroll down and return to the image source. Here we have two options for uploading our faces. On the left, we have the single source image canvas, and on the right, we have the multiple source images canvas. You might assume that we would need the right canvas, but hold on. That is not how we will perform face swaps for multiple faces at once. The right canvas serves a different purpose, which we will explain later. To swap multiple faces simultaneously, we need to prepare a source image with multiple faces on it. For this example, I have prepared a source image with both Angelina Jolie and Salma Hayek on it. Now let's place it on the left canvas. The next step is to assign face numbers to our source image as usual. This process occurs from left to right starting with zero. For our source image, we will input zero comma one in the source image input field. This means that Angelina Jolie is assigned face number zero and Salma Hayek gets assigned face number one. Now, we essentially link each face number to a specific target face number. So first of all, let's clear the target image input and consider what we want to achieve. For this example, I want Angelina Jolie in the middle of the target image. We know the face in the middle of the target image is assigned face number one, so let's link the source image zero of Angelina Jolie to the face in the middle by typing one in the target image input. Now let's move on to swapping Salma Hayek. 
For this example, I want Salma Hayek to be face swapped with the person on the right. Let's link her face with the person on the right, which is face number two, by typing two in the input. Don't forget to separate the numbers by a comma. Now let's click generate and witness the multiple face swaps in action. Impressive, isn't it? We've successfully swapped multiple distinct faces simultaneously. Just a quick mention. When trying out this method, remember that if your source image has X number of faces, your target image must also have at least the same number of faces as the source image for it to work correctly. Now let's try one more combination to ensure your understanding. If we desire Angelina Jolie on the right side, we can achieve this by linking her face to target face number of two. So let's start by typing two. Similarly, to position Salma Hayek all the way to the left, we'll link her face to target face number zero. After clicking generate, we achieve the desired results. Fantastic. Now you should be able to swap multiple faces at once on your own. But do keep in mind that the order of the target image input does matter when working with multiple source faces. All right, now that we've learned how to swap multiple faces by using a multi-face portrait image on the single source image canvas, you might be wondering about the multiple source images canvas. Well, this canvas is designed for uploading multiple single face images onto it, creating an image grid with all the face swaps. This feature is particularly useful for quickly testing face swaps. Beyond that, I don't frequently utilize this feature. However, let's try an example. Firstly, let's clear the left input and then upload individual face portraits of Angelina and Salma onto the right canvas. Keep the source image default value at zero and also maintain the default value of zero for the target image. Now let's click generate and observe the outcome. As observed, we now have an image grid featuring three images. The first one on the left remains the default image without any face swaps. The second image showcases Salma Hayek's face swap onto target face number zero, while the last image demonstrates Angelina's face swap onto target face number zero. Feel free to delve into the functionalities of this feature, conducting experiments and exploring its diverse capabilities. This feature provides you with a canvas to test and observe how different faces are seamlessly integrated into your chosen target areas. With that, we conclude the Reactor Crash Course. I hope you've acquired valuable insights into the world of face swaps. Thanks for watching and catch you in the next one. Hold on a moment. Before you go, take a look at other tutorials and use cases for face swapping and be sure to subscribe. Thanks once more. Peace.